triggers in PLSQL. Now we are going to see an interesting concept in PLSQL called triggers. What is meant by a trigger? A trigger is a procedural code that is automatically executed in response to certain events on a particular table in a database. There are three triggering events that cause triggers to fire. They are insert event, this event fires the trigger whenever a new record is being inserted into the database. Update event. This event fires the trigger whenever a record is being changed. And delete event. This event fires the trigger when a record is being deleted. Triggers also allow us to catch whether the changes are correct or to fill in missing information before it is committed. Triggers are normally written in PLSQL. Here are the three main parts of a trigger. Triggering event can be an insert, update, or delete statement. The trigger fires automatically when any one of these events occurs. A trigger constraint specifies a condition that must be true for the trigger to fire. This condition must be specified in the WHEN clause. Later we will see this in our trigger syntax. The trigger action is a set of codes to be executed when the trigger fires. I hope you understand the concept of the trigger. If not, take a close look at these statements defining the three main parts of the trigger. Let's see the different types of triggers. A row level trigger. This type of trigger fires once for each row affected by the DML operation. To specify a row level trigger, you have to use a for each row clause in the trigger definition. Statement level trigger. This type of trigger fires once irrespective of the number of rows affected in the table. Before trigger. With this trigger, the trigger action runs before the triggering statement, and this type of trigger fires only in DML operations. After trigger. In this trigger, the trigger action runs after the trigger statement, and this type of trigger fires only in DML operations. Instead of trigger. We can use this to tell Oracle what to do, instead of performing the actions that invoked the trigger. Schema trigger. This type of trigger is created for the schema level operations, like create table, alter table, drop table, audit, rename, truncate, and revoke. Here is the syntax for creating a trigger. In this syntax, create or replace trigger is a key word for writing a trigger. In this, create specifies the creation of a new trigger. Replace specifies that we are going to recreate a trigger which already exists. Trigger name specifies the name of the trigger. Before, after, instead of. Here we can specify any one of these ideas. Before, it specifies that the trigger fires before executing the triggering event. For a row trigger, this trigger fires before each affected row is changed. After. It specifies that the trigger fires after executing the triggering event. For a row trigger, this trigger fires after each affected row is changed. Instead of. We can specify this key word to tell Oracle to fire the trigger instead of executing the triggering event. These types of triggers are activated for each row by default. Oracle fires the triggers instead of performing DML statements on the view. Insert, Update, and Delete. It specifies the triggering event to be performed. We can specify three triggering events in a single trigger. For each row option is used to specify that the trigger is at row level. If you don't specify this option, then the trigger will be at a statement level. For a row level trigger, the trigger restriction can be specified in the WHEN clause. The trigger condition is an SQL condition that must be satisfied in order for Oracle to fire the trigger. Trigger body is a PLSQL block in which you can specify the trigger actions for the trigger. Here is the creation of a simple trigger. Now we have created a trigger named alert for the table details. The trigger is created to fire before we insert, delete, or update operations on the table details. 
Here we have specified a corresponding message before entering into an update, insert, or delete operation. We will see how the trigger works on the table details. Let's try it out with an insert statement. Type the SQL statement like this. This displays the statement as, now you are going to insert a row into the table before inserting a row. Thus, you can create a trigger with the same syntax for different actions, like displaying error messages and some instructions to users. In this section, we have discussed triggers, trigger types, and how to create a simple trigger.